the Lord said, as he entered the world, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. <clears throat> so my brothers and sisters, to acknowledge our sins and to repair ourselves, to celebrate the sacred mystery. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts as in my words, in what I have done and what I have felt to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most beautiful. Therefore, I ask blessed and converted all the ancient saints and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will we praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king O god almighty father lord jesus christ son of the son lord god lamb of god son of the father you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated on my hand, O Father. Have mercy on us. For you, O Lord of the Holy One, you are Lord of the Lord. You are Lord of the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who will that your word should take in the reality of human flesh, in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man, may nearest to become a partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, Forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord, your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to weary people? Must you also weary my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you this sign. A virgin shall be with child and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll, it is prescribed for me to do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announced your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O oh Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. 
Your justice kept not hidden within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sin. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, As is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First he says, Sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. The word of the Lord. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to the town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, How full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was great trouble at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to Mary, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. You will be great, he will be great, and will be called a son of the Most High. And the Lord of God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of God Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will call the Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, have also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her who was called Mary. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise 
As we come uh, together today to celebrate the feast of the Annunciations of the Lord, and of course, this feast was celebrated on March 25th, um, last on the Holy Week, and of course, uh, nine day and nine month on. Uh, December 25th, we will say the uh, we celebrate uh, the Christmas, uh, Christmas because of the Holy Week is for on the Holy Week, so therefore we celebrate it today. The Annunciation is somehow connected to the feast of Nativity, and because it was announced to. Mary, that the incarnation of God will happen through her willing cooperation. It is something beautiful that this feast too almost always occurs during the Lenten season, and of course this week, uh, this mid-year, will fall on the Holy Week. And commemoration of Jesus' passion, death, and the resurrection. So therefore, it is beautiful. the The Annunciation touch both a good news that God has become one like us, and that we may become as God. And The great news that God, in the person Jesus, have paid the price for achieving to the end, achieving the love which Saint John said in the Gospel. God so loved the world. In the beginning, to the end. So let us celebrate this uh, feast day of Annunciations. All three didn't remind us. It is doing the will of God, and of course Mary say fiat yes to the will of God, and her son our Lord uh, Jesus also say yes. To the will of the Father, to make the salvation accomplished. So it's one of us, and call to doing the will of God in our daily life. Say yes to the will of God, and it's this will that God incarnates into the world, and of course, in each one of us. And then salvation will grant to us. So today we uh, will say the Greek, but when we come into the world and was incarnate. Or uh, genuflect. Okay, please stand. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before ages, God from God, light from light, to God from to God. Begotten, not made, consistent with the Father, through Him all who was made, for us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit He was transfigured in Mary, and become man. For our sake He crucified and Pontius Pilate. He suffered and death was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with Scripture. He ascended into heaven 
and the cities at the right hand of the Father. He will come again, glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who is spoken through the prophet. I believe one book and the church. I confess my baptism for forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. So our brothers and sisters, let us turn into our God as he calls one of us to do in his will. Let us humble in our heart before our God and pray for our petitions. Let us pray for the church, especially for Francis, our Pope, Mark, our Bishop, and all clergy. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for those who hold the public office and those who are resistant to promoting the common good. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for those who suffer from isolation or sickness, that they may be strengthened by our love of them as brothers and sisters. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for those who have gone before us, especially for Nick, Carol, Job, Honeycutt, whom this message offer. We pray to the Lord. And we pray for ourselves as we gather here in this secret place by faith, devotion, love, and reverence for God. We pray to the Lord. And then silently in your heart, now you pray for your own intentions. And pray for those names written in the books of petitions. And for this we pray to the Lord. To God our Father, hear the prayers of your faithful Christ and answer their prayers according to your will. So we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hand is become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hand, is become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church offering, so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of the only begotten Son may rejoice to celebrate his mystery on this solemnity who lives and reigns forever and ever the lord be with you lift up your heart let us give thanks to the lord our god it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith 
that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake. By the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit, lovingly she bore him in her immaculate soul that the promise to the children of Israel may come about and the hope of the nation be God comes beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoice in your presence forever. And may our voices we pray joy with them in one chorus of angels exaltation prayer as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, for Sarah and the highest, as the seed to come to the name of the Lord, for Sarah. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created widely gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its end, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit's graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, so that they become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ, at whom's command we celebrate this mystery. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, of you, and eat up. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins, do that in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passing of your Son, his word was resurrected and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed the apostles, and the glorious mother Saint Matthew, and all the saints, on whose constant in the sense and in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your appearing church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, Mark our Bishop the order of bishops all clergy and entire people you have gained for your own. 
Listen gratefully to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, especially for Michael, Joab, Honeycutt, whom this Mass is offered, and to all who will listen to you at their passing from this life. Give courage and mystery to your kingdom that we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And I'll say man and firm by divine teaching now we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the way. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await blessing hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I give you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and let us offer John the sign of peace. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter my life, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. My grace everlasting. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and his name will be called Emmanuel.
Let us pray. Confirming our minds the mystery of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may through the saving power of his resurrection nearest to attain the eternal joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Master said, let's go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Blesses are thou among women, and blesses the fruit of.